Hey everybody and welcome to another Plantation Tales right here in Crystal River, Florida. Today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about how to work the MR22, the Catch Junior from Mirlor. It's one of my favorite baits to toss throughout the winter time for speckled trout and today we're going to master it. We're right here before the Christmas holiday and we're starting to get cold fronts that are back to back to back. So the water temperature is being set to put these fish in the backcountry. So instead of running all the way out the rivers and creeks to the outside now, we basically don't even run halfway down the river or creek and we just start fishing these little wide spots and bays. And today, because the water's so low, we'll fish right here in the creek itself. Um, one of the best lures I have found, and we'll really break it down here after we catch a few fish, is the MR22. This is the, the Catch Junior, uh, the smaller size to the Catch 2000. It's just a three inch bait, weighs probably close to three eighths of an ounce, casts really well on these medium to moderate fast action rods, and it has an unbelievable side to side walk, sub walk the dog action under the water, and you can stall it and it sinks so slow because the length of the bait is much different. And I'll show you a comparison in a little bit with the actual mirrodine, so you got all that surface material, so it, it sinks so slow, so to hover, um, almost like a bass guy would fish a jerk bait. It does a fantastic job, so can't wait to show you guys how this bait really can become effective. You gotta love the forgiveness of a rod like this. Nice trout, Ooh, a big one. This is what you like about baits like this is they produce bigger fish. I'm gonna try to get into this hatch because I don't wanna lose this guy. Should have had this out already. This is gonna be a good fish. to do with these barbs on the hook is I bend them down with my pliers and that way it's easy to get out of the fish. So if you lose any tension like it did right there after I relaxed the line, you'll lose the fish. But you can catch some pretty good sized trout with a big plug. Now this fish here is probably only about 17 maybe 18 inches long but still you know, if you're just bouncing shrimp out here or you're popping a, a small plastic, you're gonna catch a lot of small fish. Those plugs produce much bigger fish. Let's get this one back in the water. And then we'll do this hopefully another 30 or 40 times. Here we go. The cadence I'm using is I'm trying to be patient where I where I make a cast and let the bait fall and then just give it two kicks, two flicks really. I'm not, I'm not ripping it through the water and reeling. I'm just flicking it and then letting it hover. Flicking it and letting it hover. That's the trick to keeping it in the strike zone for the longest period of time. There he is, right there. They hit it on that pause every time. This one I'm not gonna grab a net for. hear those sonic rattles. As you can see he's only hooked on one of these small round bends and then you you can take it out because I've mashed that barb down. Just take it right out. Now these are fat chunky trout and this water temperature is about 61 degrees so it's, it's perfect to have them all well in this community hole. Off he goes. Hmm. So I'll be asked from time to time or commented, especially on our YouTube channel, you know, why aren't you throwing inline hooks? So this time of year, if I were to swap these out to inline hooks, 
it makes the bait sink a little bit faster. And then when I work it slow, it doesn't have the same action that these lighter weight trebs do. If I want to use inline hooks, I'm usually using that if I'm targeting dock systems or I've got lots of floating grass on the surface and I'm trying to rip through it. And I'm doing more of a rip, rip, reel, rip, rip, reel, more of a spastic action. But this slow fishing that I do really requires me to keep the factory hooks on the mirror lures. Yeah, this is definitely that time of year, whether you're fishing a you know, community hole or if you're just you know, find your own little spot where you got a deeper basin when these fish collect up on negative tides where you can catch 30, 40, 50 trout a day throwing plugs. That's pretty exciting. That's a lot of fun. I don't care who you are. See him hit it on the stall. Just hits it on the stall every time. See how much of a parabolic bend I have in this rod? It softens those big head shakes when they come to the surface. <clears throat> and when you have bent, oop, when you have bent barbs, I was just about to say, when you bend those barbs down, it helps keep from them throwing the bait. And that one did instead, but still, typically it doesn't. You can see how deep this rod bends down into that blank. There he is right there if you can just because they come up to the bait and they don't they don't really it's not the thump that you typically get with a little bit water more water temperature and it's this cold and again that chewy spongy rod tip helps a ton another good one this is the, the opportunity for the fish to get away almost every time. In fact, well, that's a little too far away. This one's pretty close to getting off and I was going to net them, but I think I'm just going to take the chance on getting them in here. It, and, and the bigger fish are almost always caught on these plugs. Look at the size of the fish here. If you watch some of the other boats around us, they're not catching fish in this class, but we are. And the main reason is we're using plugs. Those bait fish profiles just catch the bigger trout because that's what they eat this time of year. It's these big, big trout, heavy trout. So that's a pretty good one there. All right, we're gonna put this big girl in the water. This one here was close to 19 and a half, 20 inches. But again, that water is really crispy cold this morning. I mean, almost hurt your hands cold. But when you, when you look at this bait, um, which is basically the junior size of the Catch 2000 versus maybe, and we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit more in depth, the popular Miradine, which is a little shorter bait and has more of a wedge profile. It, it moves through the water differently at wobbles where this one subwalks because of its extra long length and then the surface of the bait itself allows the bait to sink very, very slow. But that tantalizing side to side, stop, flick, flick, stop, flick, flick, stop. That's what drives those big ones crazy. I'm having fun, let's keep doing it. There he is, I felt him jump the, he kind of just jumped the plug right there as it hovered. Fun, fun, fun. One thing you'll notice about a lot of these eats is they get the front set of hooks. They get it because they prefer to take the bait head first. This is a better fish than I thought it was. I'm gonna have to be careful with him. May even get my net out. So really the lesson learned here is if you want to catch the bigger fish, even if you're fishing a zone that's more or less 
considered a community hole, try throwing these baits that are, for the most part, minnow Im imitators, because that's what these size fish eat this time of year. They eat the minnows. That's what they're eating. So let's put this one back in the water, let them grow up. All right, let's talk about the Catch Junior a little bit more in depth now. Again, three inch long bait, weighs three eighths of an ounce, has a crazy little sonic shot rattle to it, which makes it sound like a small croaker, or e even a, a struggling finger mullet. Uh, classic mullet profile, all the stuff that you would expect um, from mirror lure and a plug. One of my favorite baits, especially for speckled trout, for sure. How does it match up against the ever popular Mirrodine from Miralore? Well, they weigh the same. They're both three eighths of an ounce. But like I was saying earlier, see the belly of this bait? More of a razor belly where this has more surface area. That's what allows this plug to fall slower. And the length, the added length, this is two and five eighths. This is three, a full three inches. So it's able to glide farther through the water. More of a walk the dog underneath the waves where this bait is more of a flash 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 under the waves and then it rocks down because when you look at the belly it's almost like a razor belly but then the water drags up the side so it gives it that nice little wobble all the way down and that's why people throw the mirrodine because often on that fall is when they get hit but often when this one stops that's when this one gets hit and it's perfect for fish in shallow water we were just fishing probably about three and a half to four foot in the deepest areas of that little creek run out there, that little choke down where, where folks were fishing. But a lot of the edges are only a foot deep where some of the bigger fish were, where I was casting a lot of my, or pointing with my attention more. And the rod itself that I'm throwing it on, this is a Fitzgerald. This is the all purpose series, okay? This is a 7.3 medium, has a moderate fast tip really lets me sink the hooks into those fish. And then when they come to the top and they're struggling everywhere, they can't throw this bait out of their mouth. And that's important when you mash the barbs down. So between that, I'm throwing it on 20 pound diamond light blue braid. This is a Shimano 150 XG Tranks or HG Tranks. Uh, perfect setup for this rod, in fact. And it's just typically when I'm throwing most of my plugs, I like to use rods in that 6'10 to 7 foot 3 length. And this one is at the maximum range because we've got a perfect, beautiful day today and I'm trying to get the lures as far away from the boat as possible. And I got about four foot of 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, so that combination is what really will put you on the path of success when you're fishing throughout this early and midwinter period. That's all I got from you, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of the Plantation Tales here on Flat Scott's YouTube.